Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you some tips and strategies on how to prevent or minimize unfilled ad impressions. Tip number one, audit your header and body tags. If you are using Google Ad Manager tags, the div ID for the header should match with the corresponding body tag. In case of a mismatch, you're gonna see intermittent ad serving and sometimes blank ads, which means you're leaving money on the table. Tip number two, audit your ad units by running a historical report and check the CTR and viewability. These are two most important key performance indicators for advertisers to keep bidding on your traffic. If they see any of your inventory not performing very well based on these two KPIs, they can stop bidding or blacklist the domain eventually. So if any of your inventory is struggling with these two metrics, you might want to consider repositioning it, put it in a spot that is most likely viewable for the user. Step number three, make sure your ads.txt information is complete. Any lines missing for any of the demand partners will prevent them from bidding on your traffic. Tip number four, not all ad sizes are created equal. Some of them will most likely get more demand than the rest. So go for high performing ad sizes as much as possible. Here are some examples for mobile and here's for desktop. When choosing ad sizes to run, it has to be appropriate where the ad is going to serve. So for example, for sidebar, you can run the vertical ad units like 300 by 600 and 160 by 600. While in the middle of the page, you can go for the square ads or the horizontal ads. Tip number five, double check your unified pricing rules or CPM floors, not just on ad exchange, but also on third party ad networks, if applicable. Remember that when you set your floor too high, you are also trimming down the number of bidders eligible to bid on your inventory. Tip number six, audit and update protection rules or ad block rules. If you, for example, blocked a certain advertiser because of a campaign that you ran previously, and if that campaign is now finished, now maybe you can revisit your rules again and allow that advertiser to bid again. Keep this updated, revisit from time to time, and update in case of any changes. Tip number seven, double check your ad units to make sure they're all targeted. You can do so by running a report, break it down by ad unit, by order, and line item type. If you miss to target any of your ad units, then most likely you're gonna get unfilled ad impressions. Tip number eight, troubleshoot your site for anything that can cause slow page load or page performance and could be hurting your user experience leading to this unfilled ad impressions. You can use a lot of tools out there, but the best ones we recommend is PubGuru Ad Inspector, which you can download from the Chrome Web Store, Publisher Ads Audits for Lighthouse, and Web Vitals. Follow the recommendations from these tools and address any issues. Tip number nine, create a house line item targeting your entire inventory. Having the lowest priority in the ad stack it becomes your safety net or your catch-all line item that if nobody else can serve the impression, then house comes in. It's important to remember that you can no longer use Google Tags as house. It's now considered invalid and can get your account banned or blacklisted. So you can probably use a third-party tag or an image creative, then we can set another section of your site or a product that you sell as your landing page. Which now leads me to tip number 10. When you work with Monetize More as a publisher or partner, you can run our proprietary technology called AdSense Re-Render. Without violating any Google policies, we will serve AdSense as a fallback to minimize unfilled ad impressions. There are several reasons why an impression could come back as unfilled. And our technology will make sure that you're still monetizing every single ad request that comes in. Built with a highly sophisticated machine learning technology, you can rest assured that none of your ad requests will go to waste. That concludes our video for today. Want to learn how to become an AdSense expert? Introducing PubGuru University School of AdSense. 
With 36 on-demand videos and over three and a half hours of content, we will help you become a Google AdSense expert. Enroll today.